Hi guys, Jay at the Highland Gamer here with walkthroughs, gameplays and tips for the biggest and latest games and we are back here with part 7 now of the Mass Effect Andromeda campaign. Okay, so looks like we're going to help out our Krogan friends here. Ryder, about time you joined the party. Think I made them angry? Good. Nice shot. Ken, watch out. Where are you, boys? Save some for me, old man. <laughs> I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all? This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? That is true. We are here to explore. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Hmm. Let's go with the military. The military outpost. We defend our own against the cat, or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Hmm, I wonder if it was the right choice to take. Is a 50-50. Got a trophy there, foothold. Andromeda Initiative. This is Ryder. Pathfinder. Outpost block inbound and ready as hell. Here comes the cavalry. August Bradley, operational head. Nice to meet block. you, August Bradley. Now, I suppose we're ready to make the most of what you delivered. Okay, not just my efforts. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Brodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them. Hoping was... Irresponsible. Yeah, but you're a bitch. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. You're right to be cautious. What are you playing at? Seems like being my friend is suddenly valuable. Fair assumption. Yeah, you can jog on. Jog on! She was a total the bitch. The Rider, you brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? 
The nav point. From the vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Hmm. Arguing is pointless. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. It got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Yep, not a big fan of her, so that's why I didn't shake her hand. Because she was a total bitch to us when we started the game. Okay, viability. Acquired 300 Andromeda. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Back into the Tempest we go. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? I don't care where anyone sleeps, as long as we realize what a kick-ass team we have. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the Remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning. A number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. You guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? Wow, that's harsh. Uh, Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots. Just to be clear. Yeah, that's right. We call so the what shots. what do you need from us, Ryder? Um... Work hard. Helios threw us for a loop, meaning we're kind of new at this. All of us. So let's figure out what the rules are now and try to stick to them. Sounds good. If there's one thing I know I can do, it's make up rules. No one said make up rules. Can we please keep anarchy to a minimum? Okay, let's head back to the Nexus. PB, Drac, see Lexi for a physical? Good meeting, everyone. Okay, there's no calls. Let's see, where do we need to be? The galaxy map is where we need to be, right there. Mutinies like cancer. Left untreated, it spreads. Keep exiling people. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Actually, never mind. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me.
Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. This is Hirik, one of the geek, uh, scientists from the tech lab. <laughs> what you achieve with one of the geeks. Is unprecedented Pathfinder. Impossible. With more military personnel out of stasis, those cat won't get near your vault. Or our people. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley. I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. And we're going to now speak to Addison. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend. A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. Though I worry about your decision on Eos, Ryder. A military outpost won't help feed the Nexus, not the way scientists might have. But it will protect us from a growing list of threats. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. <laughs> so there we go, another level up. We now have reached level seven. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your brother, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Wow, okay, so we've got an update on her Pathfinder. brother. We are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right, something about Andromeda viability and perks. We have to Be speak useful. to Addison as well. We'll speak to Addison first and she's on the way there. Her favourite person. No, it isn't what we wanted. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. 
a new cryo group can be brought out. Want more security, like you chose at Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Okay. Have to speak to Addison's assistant, Brecker. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability. A metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more... Okay, that makes sense. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Okay, we're now making our way to the Onion system. So we're having to head back to the space shuttle, the spaceship, the Tempest, whatever name you want to give. I'm Jean Garth, founder of the initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the cultural center. Please have a look around. is looking for you. So now we have to go to the Onion system. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's see. Onion. So zooming out. Onion. A trail of hope is the name of the next mission. We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on That is not good. I'll stop now! Whoa! Nearly a crash. Cat ships. A dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back! Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. Okay, you first. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. 
You can't take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Oh, we've just managed to escape. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. Oh, there's one right in our tail. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. Just managed to escape that. Seems a Krogan liked the style. We're being contacted. We have to land. Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear we're the galactic good guys. Efanola, Fahan and Gasad Regara. Efanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. I was about to say it doesn't look like the most inviting of places, but then look you just that. see the patch of green. Beautiful. going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Always try to keep it a little bit more humorous. <laughs> so here we go on to what these guys are. What of alien? Need me to take my shoes off? We come in peace. Do not, do not shoot. We've got some cool outfits there. It's almost Halo-like costumes with the helmets. Pretty good armor by the looks of it. Wow, these guys look strange. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel. I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? Okay, to exchange knowledge, I'm sorry, we'll go with... We come with a spirit of cooperation and... Come in peace. <laughs> We've heard that before. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Okay, so they certainly do not trust us. Of course, um, they don't know us, so why should they? 
Well, okay, guys, that's going to leave it for part seven. Part eight is obviously up next. We will be continuing on the journey, finding out more about this new species and seeing what they have to say and what they've got in store for us. So part eight is up next. As always, stay tuned and stay sexy!